Hello painting peeps and welcome. It's Kathleen from Cause Creations. Welcome to the No Bra Zone. I'm playing with those darn paints again. I got two little itty bitty gallery wrap canvases there. They're 10 by 10 and I have a little area in one of my powder rooms that I want to um, hang uh, two little pieces on. So I figured I would just play and I'd share it with you as I go. That is Deco Art Sapphire and Deco Art Deep Sapphire. 50% of each paint mixed with my porn medium. That's PBO number 350 Metallics. It's a really pretty gold. First time I've used that uh, PBO paint and I hope I'm saying that right. There's my fave Golden Turquoise. Really, really pretty blue one of my favorite colors to use in a pour. We're getting our blues and golds on today. Now this is a yummy color and I just used the last of it. That is the Blue Quartz by Treasure Art and Deco Art Peacock Pearl. The two were mixed 50-50 with my pouring medium and Deco Art Metallics and that is their gold. So we got some fun colors going on here. Now, each of those little canvases is going to have two cups of paint and each cup had two layers of those colors in the order that I introduced you to them. There's also a picture at the end of the video that shows you the order of the paints lined up. We are going to get busy. I'm excited. Now, no base coat is down on these canvases. Um, I am hoping that I have enough paint in those cups that um, I did not need a base coat. So um, when I don't put a base coat, coat down, I'm able to maneuver my paints just a little bit better because I go pretty slow when I'm tilting my canvas. What you're seeing is sped up about four times. So there's our second cup and I'm traveling with it. Once again, we're just playing to see what we come up with with these two little guys. Slow and easy tilt. Now I pay attention to my comp composition here. I say, hey, you know, what part of this painting do I like the most? And that part you want to kind of keep on the top of your canvas. You don't want it rolling off while you're tilting. And I love that little wave motion going on there on the right side. But when it was all done, I stared at it and said, you know what? It needs a little bit more. So I'm going to go ahead and use that second cup. There it is. Doing a little ring pour here, which we are not traveling with. These blues and golds are pretty colors together, guys. It's my jam. Now that's that handy dandy tool I introduced you to, um, I think on the last video, I got it at Amazon. You mix up your paint, you put it in your little container, and then it has five or six little adapter points that you can decide if you want a thin flow, a medium flow, a thicker flow. Now I got this on Amazon, and what I just did is I just kind of injected that paint into this area because I have something in mind for us. I'm going to try to mimic the little bit of the composition you see on the top left there. So I'm running my popsicle stick through that paint. Running it through again. And then we're going to tilt and maneuver it a, a little bit. We're going to kind of accentuate the round part of that outside part of the ring. Sorry if you hear a little noise in the background, guys. Somebody's always mowing their grass every time I sit down to uh, do a voiceover. <laughs> Slow and easy tilt, guys. This part right here is actually sped up 
only two times, so I move very slowly. Now I grab my straw so I can kind of give a little bit of a dip to that little petal there, and now you see me using my wooden skewer. It's fun to play with those paints. A little bit more gold down the center of that little arc. And we're done. These little guys are so easy breezy. I just love them. Oh, giving it a torch. See if anything fun and exciting pops up. We are done with canvas number one. What are we going to do with number two? Oh, it's a flip cup. Oh, it's a double flip cup. And believe it or not, guys, I think I have only done one flip cup before. So this is fun for me. Now I'm taking a little bit of each of the colors that is in that cup and I'm just kind of spreading it all over the place to see if something cool will happen here. Nothing cool happening yet. <laughs> So I tilt that canvas a little bit so those colors kind of all mesh together. But that's kind of fun. That gives me some ideas. Now I poke a hole in the top of those cups to release the pressure so the paint comes out a little bit evenly. But look at those pretty colors. Guys, I could watch paint move around a canvas all day long. It just mesmerizes me. Now I like that gold line going down the middle. Slow and easy on those tilts, guys, and your head's constantly moving to one side, to the other side, keeping an eye on that composition. Now this is fun, but Nothing super exciting, but I noticed those little cells popping up in the lower right hand corner. So I'm going to fiddle with those a little bit. There's that handy dandy tool. Now that's the thinner applicator that lets just a little bit of paint out. Now what I did there is I just added some man-made cells to where the existing cells were. Here I'm blowing that gold line just to kind of rough it up a little bit so that it uh, doesn't jump out at you too much. Now there were some gold cells down there, so I'm like, let's add a few more. Now once you torch these cells, guys, they tend to expand and also sink down. So they kind of end up matching the existing cells that the paint made. There you have it. We're done. Easy breezy, fun stuff. Quick little ditties. <laughs> Is she done? Maybe not. Oh, there you go. Let's get a little funky with this painting. There you go again. Now, when you put these lines down, guys, they are going to end up being a little bit thinner than when you apply them because some of the paint sinks down into the paint below. There are all those pretty colors that we used and once again I line them, them up in the order that I put them in my cup. Fun! Fun, easy breezy stuff guys. Thanks for joining me here. I'm always grateful that you do. Have a wonderful rest of your day or evening to come, guys. Talk to you soon.